I know we've been saying this a million times, but once again, I just want to thank everybody that came out to the LA store. I'm hoping that y'all got everything that you wanted to get. I mean, you know how it is here at the store. You got to be quick. You got to be on the shit, like, because whatever the fuck you want is always gone. Anything that is your size is the most popular size for whatever reason. Mark, can you attest to this? Yes, I wear nine and a half. It's cooked for me. It's cooked for me. I'm a 10 and a half. I'm, I'm built like an everyman. So everything that I want is like always gone. But this week, diverging from my usual talking points, knowledge, and more specifically, learning. Now you may say to yourself, Uncle Nate, what the fuck do you know about learning? Well, being in charge of the technical portions of a business means that my responsibility is to leverage technology to have positive business outcomes. Almost all the time. I don't know what any of this technology is. Like, I don't know what its capabilities are. So I have to constantly like learn shit. I'm constantly like learning stuff. It's like really normal for people in tech. So I'm gonna give you guys some of my thoughts and some tips on how I like try to learn very quickly and just get up to speed. But for now, we're gonna get into the stuffs. A real relic right here. 2010 Supreme DKNY. This is like when Obama was in office. Obviously it survived the last recession and survived in this recession with ease and grace. What can be said about these palace jeans that haven't been said about the Sistine Chapel? Beautiful. Look at the print. This is, this is our modern Sistine Chapel right here. You fucking put these shits on. Go to the Cube in Las Vegas and have a fucking splendid time. Size 32, every man size. Donda, Kanye West joint. This is unreleased. Look at the back. It's got like the fucking freaky ass house. It looks to be like a 2XL. A very nice, very tasteful Raft Simmons tee. It's a 46. Just Don boxing shorts. The thing about a pair of shorts like these, is, see, I'm not trying to do any more sexual <laughs> shit. <laughs> but they keep bringing me back in. They keep bringing me back in with bullshit like this. There's so many jokes that could have been made on this that I will refrain from making. But yeah, just on Mike Tyson shorts. Mew Mew backpack. You gotta get your girl out of the little the little backpack she got. You know, you know what I'm talking about? I don't even know what it's called because I'd never buy my girlfriend that shit. But like. I'd buy her this if I had a girlfriend. And any women out there that think they're my girlfriend, baby, I'm buying this for you. Ooh, we got a couple Omer pieces. I know you guys love this. This is an ASMR portion of it. Look at it. Wow. Look at the design, the subtle design of it. It's beautiful. We had two. Jeez. It's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, that's enough a ASMR. Y'all are probably too bricked up off of that. Chromies. Get a little chrome hoop earring. All the paperwork, no sizes, obviously. We have the chrome dragon bracelet. This is giving like Viking vibes. This is giving um, coming to your land to plunder and freaky ass ERD pen. Maybe it's like Joffrey and uh, Queen Cersei. I don't know what the thesis is on this, but it's cool, whatever. All right, so learning. I wanted to talk about this because I feel like there's no excuse anymore for you to be a dumbass. You can be an asshole, but you can't be a dumbass anymore. There's no excuses with all the resources that we have available to us. I want to start this off by saying that learning in your mind or like any other muscle without resistance, there's no way that it's going to fucking grow. Personally, when I want to learn something new, like I have like a three step system, like one, I try and get as many resources as I possibly can on the subject. I think that you should be reading books. You should be reading blog articles. Article. You should be watching videos on YouTube. You should be watching Instagram videos. You need to brute force overload your mind with the knowledge. So for me, let's take like a book, for example. Like if I want to read a book, first things first, every single time I read like a, a more technical book, I go through the table of contents from beginning to end. So I kind of just like get a feel for what's in the book. And then I go through like whatever chapter I'm reading, breeze through it and just like look at all of the words that are in bold or all the italicized words just to get a feel what's in the chapter. And then I read the summary first. There's always a summary at the end of every textbook. And then I read the entire chapter. This is to create more neural pathways to whatever subject I'm learning. After that, the next steps are to uh, start practicing it like you actually have to like create practice scenarios 
you have to start exercising that muscle. Once again, this is always about building the neural pathways. Your mind and the neurons in your brain are like fucking roads, okay? And if you want whatever you're learning to be a city, it has to be a highly traveled road. Like the taxes aren't gonna pay for the fucking dirt road that goes out to the farm, like a memory that you never think of. It's only gonna pay for the fucking super highway to the big city, that big knowledge center that you're visiting all the fucking time because your brain recognizes that it is very important to you. So you need to start applying it as quickly as possible. So if you're making music, you wanna learn music. You've, you've fucking read a couple books on it. You've wa fucking watched a couple documentaries. You've watched like YouTube videos on how to play piano. Now it's the time to start actually playing the piano start playing other people's songs, like start practicing. In this step also, you need to start introducing yourself to people that are better than you so that they can give you notes. This is the time to start getting criticism. Criticism, I think a lot of people are afraid of it, but it's just like, if you're not able to push through the criticism of whatever it is that you're trying to learn, then you're never gonna be fucking good at it. Now, after that, after you've gotten your practice in, you've gotten your criticism in, so you're feeling like tight, apply it. Now, we were talking about this earlier, if you don't give yourself any type of deadlines, all of the shit that you've just done is fucking null. You wanna fucking be good at piano, plan a recital for yourself a year from now and stick to the plan. You have to give yourself some accountability when it comes to learning. And I personally will tell people that I'm doing shit just so if I don't follow through with what I'm saying, it makes me feel like a fucking asshole. Tell your mom, I'm gonna do a recital. And she'd be like, oh my God, a I'm excited for your recital. You're like, oh shit, I kinda gotta. <laughs> I gotta try, I gotta get this shit like tight. Like my mom's like expecting me to do this shit. But whatever it is that you're trying to do, just make sure that you have some type of goal. The pursuit of knowledge and learning is like one of the most satisfying things that you can do in your life. And it's one of the most fulfilling things that you can do in your life. And it can lead you to getting actual fucking bread. It's one of my favorite things to do besides all the other things to talk about. You need to learn more so you can make more money so that you can pull up and you can buy a Viking bracelet to show your enemies that you are powerful. You have the will and the resilience to persevere through a hard winter. But we love you guys. Once again, 261 Broom Street, 80, 12 and a half Melrose Ave, Luke's NYC, best fucking store on the planet. That's all. <laughs>